All right, guys, welcome back to another vlog. As you can see, really can't see, but I just got back from the supplement shop, picked up some protein, strawberries and cream. So I'm gonna have this with my pre-workout meal. I'm excited to try that. And then this morning I just woke up, I was so tired. So I also wanted to get an energy drink, I'm drinking the lychee, lychee bomb. I've been wanting to get a nootropic for a while. So I asked my boy, Chris at Biofactor, he hooked me up. He told me he was addicted to this stuff. So we're gonna try it out. It's got, I don't really know a lot of the ingredients. It does have caffeine in it, L-theanine, Nuvapep, galanamine, um, tyrosine. So if, if these are ringing a bell to any of you guys, you guys are a fan of nootropics, then let me know All what right, you think. So we're gonna but, see how this is. It's honestly pretty expensive for, see the way it works is it's like a half scoop, full scoop formula. So I can either make this last 50 servings or 25. So today I'm gonna do a full scoop, do the full serving, just so we can get a review on how it is. Ooh, it's potent. I didn't even sniff it. Powder is very like, I don't know if you could see it in the camera, but it's very, very interesting. Strawberry lemonade flavor. If I do one full scoop of that, that's gonna be 200 milligrams of caffeine. So I drank like a quarter of this. I'm either gonna give it to someone or just save it for tomorrow. Cause it doesn't make sense. I have another 200 milligrams of caffeine with my pre-workout. It doesn't make sense to energy drink on top of having the nootropic powder as well. You gotta pick your poison. Jeez, that's 30 minutes of cardio done, completed. And as you can tell, whew, it looks like I went through the ringer. Today is one of those days where I'm just dragging, you know, not like fire breathing dragging, but like, I'm just tired. I'm like, ugh. You know, even getting out of bed, waking up, going, even even committing myself to do the cardio. I'm just dreading it the whole time. And throughout it, I'm staring at the clock. You know, I was thinking, like, when I first started this series, when I first started this cut, motivation was at its all-time high. Not saying that it's, it's dwindled down. But what I'm getting at is that not every day, and I mentioned this in the last video I posted, you're going to have your ups and downs. Some days are going to be easier than others. For example, a day like today, I am just not, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it, but I'm still getting it done, which is the most important part. And honestly, I stuck through it. I did my cardio and I feel a million times better. I honestly think it was probably the nootropic finally kicking in, but we're feeling good. You know, cardio is done. We got one box checked off and we only got a few more left for the day. Ideally, we got to keep our end goal in mind. Take it one day at a time. Win each day, and before you know it, you'll be at your goal. All right, so I'm in the kitchen. I'm making my pre-workout meal right now. I'm going with my go-to, the cream of rice. So it's kind of funny the way like bodybuilders eat. I don't know what made me think of that. I think someone was like, oh, like what are you having for breakfast? And it's like, I don't really eat breakfast. Like I don't count it as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I count it as meal one through five. So like, like for example, this morning, my breakfast meal one was salmon and rice. Sam, that's not, Sam is not breakfast. Basically what I'm getting at is you start getting into bodybuilding, you start looking at food completely differently. You prioritize nutrients. That's, that's your main priority over taste or flavor. Doesn't mean that your stuff's gonna taste completely like crap as I'm opening up a strawberries and cream protein. I don't know, I guess like the way I look at food is like once I eat it, it's in my system and it's done the job. It's my body's gonna digest it. It's gonna shuttle the nutrients where it needs to go. And then like, that's it. I just have to get it down. So as long as it tastes fine, me eating, you know, it doesn't, I, I don't need to have this three course meal with, you know, topped with caviar and you get, you get what I'm saying? Like it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It just has to be, it just has to be edible. So like I get in the habit of eating my food cold. So like when I prep my meals, I'll prep it the night before, I'll keep it in the fridge. And then when I eat it, I don't even heat it up. I just like, I'm eating this morning, I ate salmon. <laughs> and, and I tell this to other people and they look at me like I'm crazy. But like this morning at 8 a.m., I had salmon, avocado and rice cold. And to me, it tasted delicious. I thought it was one of the best meals I've ever had. Last video or last time I was in the kitchen, I was, uh, was kind of explaining how I'm in that like awkward phase of the cut where I'm not lean, but I'm not bulked. 
And honestly, I'm kind of I'm in the same lighting right now, same conditions. Just finished my cardio, and guys, something's working. The cut is cutting. I haven't seen my abs like this in a while now, so pretty happy with where we're sitting at. Actually, believe it or not, since I started cutting, I'm getting I'm my body is getting leaner, but my weight is staying the same. I've been 180 for the past week. But visually, I'll play back the video from last week, but I think I'm definitely a little bit leaner than I was last week, but I'm still at the same weight. So it just goes to show you can't always use the weight on the scale as an indicator of progress. I'm still, I'm still losing fat even though the weight on the scale isn't moving. This protein looks very interesting. It's like very powdery. The texture is like almost cakey. I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see how it mixes. Should've used a bigger bowl. As I'm mixing it, I'm smelling it. And you know what? It smells like that ice cream bar, like that strawberry shortcake ice cream bar you get in like middle school. Holy Red 40. That smells crazy though. That's pretty good. If it was a bit colder, I think I would like it. I smell it from here. Do you? I got back today, just warming up with some lap pullovers, a little bit of pull-ups, but I'm gonna switch it up today. Typically, I'll start with lap pullovers, but today I'm just using this as a warm-up exercise. And my first exercise is gonna be lap pull-downs. Switching my first and last exercise. Normally, I, like I said, I'll start with lap pullovers. Today, I'm gonna use them as a finisher, and we'll start with lap pull-downs. Ideally, now that I'm done with all my warm-up sets, I'm gonna start doing feeder sets on uh, my first exercise till I get to my working set weight. Last week I did 150 pounds. I think I got like 10 or 11 reps. So I'm gonna be doing the same weight and ideally going for more reps. My main goal here is progressive overload, but I just wanted to mention that progressive overload isn't just doing the same weight with more reps. There's multiple ways to progressive overload each week. You can improve your form, improve your execution, uh, shorten your rest time, increasing the weight. There's, there's many ways uh, apart from just increasing the amount of reps that counts as progressive overload. So just because you know, if you're stuck on the same weight for like a couple weeks in a row, don't get too hung up on yourself. Maybe it might make more sense for you to focus and prioritize your execution in your form. Because it doesn't make sense to just constantly be chasing like a rep goal each week. Because um, I've, I've gotten in that habit before and it's a bad habit too because you can tend to sacrifice your form and execution solely just to get that extra like one or two reps. <sighs> That set, I surpassed the amount of reps I got last week. Keep in mind though, I typically do this exercise last. So I'm usually pre-exhausted from all the volume and exercises I do prior, but past my rep goal. So what I'll do, I'm now ready to increase the weight. So next set, I'm gonna do 160 pounds, but still aim for that same rep range. So same execution, same tempo, heavier weight, and ideally we should be failing in that 10 to 12 rep range. So like I said before, I'm pumping the weight up. This is gonna be our second, yet also our last working set for this exercise. So the only thing I'm gonna do different from the first one, same thing, I'm gonna take the set to failure, but immediately after, I'm gonna drop to like 120 pounds, switch up my grip a little, and just do a drop set to failure as well.
255 is gonna be our top set. So I just did 225 for a feeder set. Felt nice and good, adding 15 to each side. And I'm hoping, we're just gonna grip it and rip it, but I'm hoping we can get like a solid 12 on this one. Crazy workout, crazy good workout though. Back day is complete and I brought with me my post-workout meal because I don't know why exactly. Like I said before, I don't eat for taste. I don't eat for enjoyment. I don't mind eating a cold meal in my car. As long as it gets me one step closer to my goal, that's all that I care about. Once it enters my system, it's forgotten about. So the two minutes or however long it takes me to eat, I really could care less. I mean, obviously I don't want super dry chicken. Like it has to be palatable. It has to taste somewhat good. I think I had too much caffeine in my days, bro. I'm dazed and confused. Whatever, but I'm gonna enjoy this meal. I'll finish this up. And then I'm just gonna go home and I'm gonna chill out because like I said, I was so tired this morning. Even though I got good sleep, Right now, I could, if my head hit the pillow, like, I'll fall asleep right away. So, that's what I'm going to do. I need rest, recovery. Someone in the gym was actually talking to me. They were like, he's like a younger kid, probably like his first couple years in the gym. But he's like, he's like, hey, I got a question for you. He's like, do you work out every single, or, no, no, no. He said, do you train multiple times a day? And I said, no. I said, in the past, I used to train every single day. But now, I only do five days a week. The reason being is because... The amount of time that you spend in the gym is that rest and recovery is just as important as the time spent in the gym, okay? Sometimes you might think more is better, but only in the case of rest and recovery, you know, you have to find what works best for you. Every Everyone's body is going to be different. You know, this set amount of volume, like if you give someone a workout program and you give it to the next guy you're gonna get two completely different results. Some guy may respond better to like a lower volume while the next guy might respond better to higher volume. Everyone needs rest and recovery. Some people may need more than others, but ultimately at the end of the day, the time spent in the gym will also need to spend outside resting and recovering so you can actually grow. So your muscles are able to repair from the damage that you just put it under. I said it's smoking right now. Got a couple things I need to cook here. So I'm gonna start with this. We just have a normal burger, but actually what I did was I put like dehydrated onions in there. It's not a lot of beef, so it's gonna cook super quick. I also have this too. This looks kind of brown, but I, I don't know. I'm not a big steak guy, but we're gonna see how this is. My mom got me this a while ago. I've been meaning to eat it, so it's just been sitting in the freezer. 
I think it's like a grass-fed top sirloin steak. So I just put salt and pepper on it. And then, I don't know, three, four minutes aside, we're gonna see how this goes. All right, it's been three minutes. We're gonna, I think we're, oh, that burger's cooking. Oh, geez. Uh, Half-ass char. All right, so the burger's definitely done. So I need to put a little bit of cheese on it. And honestly, I'm, I think it's done. I'm just gonna let it rest. All right, so here's the final product. It actually worked out perfectly because for this meal, I get 10 ounces of beef. I actually have two eggs on the stove as well. I'm gonna put those on top of the burger, but I wanted to do the reveal of the steak and see how it came out. Got a good, oh, I should use my big hunting knife. That's okay. Oh, jeez. She a bit raw. I'm gonna eat it though. I guess we gotta do a bite. I don't like big bites though. Like I said, I'm not a big steak guy, but. That's actually really good. Really tender. I'm a fan. So I'm going to go enjoy this.